Nemso Indian Defense, Samus Variation, 5006.f3d57.cxd5. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Although white played a great end game, black did even better. Opening with the queen's pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3 and threatens to trade, disturbing white's pawns after bx c3 and preventing it from moving or defending e4. f3 prepares the e4 pawn push and takes away the e4 square from black's knight. The pawn on c4 is attacked by d5, which also occupies the center and holds the e4 square. A3 forces the bishop to decide, exchange or retreat. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. Backs off. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. It is the last book move. This misses a chance to humiliate a queen. It is incorrect. This strikes at the center with a pawn, fighting for space. This threatens to kick a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a queen. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. The knight is thus brought to safety. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is best. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. This strikes a rival knight. It is ideal. The knight is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. This defends an underdefended pawn that is inadequately attack. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Thus, a rook is pinned to the king. It is ideal. This defends the attacked rook. This threatens to capture a piece while defending against a new threat. It is best. This prevents the adversary from making a queen attack known. It is ideal. This threatens to capture a piece while defending against a new threat. It is best. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a queen. It is good. It is a fair deal after all captures. 
it is ideal. In comparison to the right pick, this is the incorrect piece to capture with and results in a loss of content. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a rook. It is ideal. This reveals an attack that poses a threat to a queen. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. White is superior at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It's compelled. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. This takes down a knight who is helpless. It is ideal. Backs off. A passing pawn could be promoted as a result of this. It is ideal. This prevents the adversary from moving a passed pawn toward promotion. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This puts pressure on the pinned knight by adding an attacker, which is a powerful resource because a pinned piece cannot move away from the attack. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it? This ignores a better way to win a knight. It is a misgiveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Although white played a great end game, black did even better.